we'll just do a little warm up and then we'll have a chat, okay? We're gonna do cups and saucers really quickly for the warm up. So let me get a few people to set this up very quickly. With Cameron, he wants to do absolutely everything. And that is part of his ability to say, I am doing exactly what everybody else is doing. I'm not going to do different things. I want to do very similar things. So we sometimes just slightly change things for him. We made the space that he runs a bit smaller. So he's on the inside rather than being on the outside where he can be knocked over. Fantastic, Cameron, keep going. Sometimes you've got to stop him and say, look, this is best for you to keep you safe. But most of the time, he just wants to compete. You do not see his disability at all. He just blends in with everybody else. And that's what makes him amazing. He's got incredible, incredible tenacity and lots of determination. Fantastic. With all credit to Cameron, he is a determined little boy. He wants to be included. He always does his best. He's got this tremendous attitude to any kind of physical activity that he's asked to do. But in saying that, he does have his limitations and our staff are absolutely fantastic at thinking through, right, how can I make sure that Cameron can access this activity that we're going to do? For example, when we were thinking about setting up our sports day, a variety of races were being suggested, but when we thought about the sack race, we knew that Cameron would find that tricky. And so it was, right, let's adapt that. Let's think what we can do instead to make sure that Cameron is going to be included because he would hate not to be able to participate. I absolutely love the PE. I'm not an expert at all, but I read up a lot. I have been to John Lees, who is a visiting teaching specialist of PE. I followed him around for a day, see how he does things and lots of experience I've picked up from him. Watching other people do lessons when you come along is also great. You pick up little ideas. Well I went to the disability swimming and then I found out it was running so I came down and got involved in the disability running. Well I like going fast sprint and then swung down and then fast sprint and then swung down really, really good. With cerebral palsy, it's like I can only use my right side and my body and then my left side um, is probably my weakest side. In the department I work in, I've got responsibility for PE, so I was involved in teaching a variety of different pupils with learning difficulties or physical difficulties. So with that, I would take them to a lot of different events, such as swimming and athletics, where I was introduced to Disability Sport Fife and it's progressed on from there where I had the opportunity to be an assistant coach in athletics and now coaching fully on my own. It's not been easy because I've been faced with lots of different challenges but I've had great support and the opportunity to observe lots of different people, different experts in their field. I've gone to different seminars and different CPD opportunities and really a lot of it is trial and error as well. To me it makes sense that everyone should have the opportunity to take part in activity and it's just how you can work your way around adapting it. I would definitely pass on Scottish Disability Sport to any parent and I mean having a child with a disability then see their wee faces when they come through that finishing line and pick up a gold medal at the end of the day, you know, just to see them competing with other kids with disabilities, it just, it, it makes me so happy in life and I would definitely recommend it.